has five of her own. Agnew tries a three and knocks it down. Have to be impressed with Butler's energy to start the ball game. Yeah, defensively they're really bringing it and they're doing a great job uh, on the inside because as you know, Creighton really likes to attack the basket and they're just keeping their hands up and not fouling. Faber a long three, count it. Rollerson dumping it down to Faber, out to Wirtz for three. Rollerson, the and one gets it to go. And now, well, Agnew for three. And she follows it up with a second chance. Heads up play by Jacqueline Ag Janning leads all scorers with 12, and she's back to the left hand again. Strong finish at the basket. Little pick and roll, Janning, the floater well off the mark. Rollerson fighting for it on the low block. Second chance is good. Brianna Rollerson. Tonight she's been relatively quiet. It's been all Janning and Rollerson as Janning rolls in the and one. Down on Schickel when they needed to, particularly when Alexa Bailey was in the game. That's part of the reason Bailey's been so active offensively today for Butler, because Creighton simply has not guarded her. Butler having a hard time guarding Marissa Janning today, getting to the lane. How about Alexa Bailey? Eight of 18 for 16 points today. Quick pass into Rollerson. The reverse is good. Down on Schickel when they needed to, particularly when Alexa Bailey was in the game. That's part of the reason Bailey's been so active offensively today for Butler, because Creighton simply has not guarded her. Butler having a hard time guarding Marissa Janning today, getting to the lane. How about Alexa Bailey? Eight of 18 for 16 points today. Quick pass into Rollerson. The reverse is good. Under the bucket, no good, and back out to Janning. Well, when you're trying to mount a comeback, giving up second chance opportunities is a cardinal sin, and Butler has done that too often in the second half. And as we talked about earlier, I mean, it really is a mental breakdown whenever you're a player and you're playing so hard defensively, and you can't get that. I'm at Butler University. They'll need a lot more of those if they want to climb back into this one. Well, Creighton's done a great job defensively against Sydney Buck. They've been face guarding her pretty much the whole time.